strong. Nash comes up the floor with Barnes, Richardson, O'Neal, and Tucker. Four wide receivers plus Shannon Sharp. In zone, it's caught it Sharp. Yes, Shannon Sharp has it. His second reception of the ball game and his second touchdown of the season. Another day on Keeper G News. And they all be in, shit, I think we in the sports category today, man. You know how we do, we bounce around. But before we get to the video, make sure you like, comment, share. And if you um, subscribe to the channel, make sure you got your notification bell on, y'all. That is very important. I don't know if I speak about that enough on this channel, but notification bell has to be on. That way you get everything I drop in real time. We ain't got had no discrepancies. But in this video, we're talking about two greats, respectively, in their own sports, man. You got Shannon Sharp, Hall of Famer, Football Hall of Famer. Then you got Shaquille O'Neal. We all know him, Basketball Hall of Famer. One of the best centers, in my opinion, that ever did it. But that's what this whole debate is about. It's between Shannon Sharp and Shaq. Shannon Sharp doesn't seem to think that Shaq is one of the greats. And I'm going to let y'all hear Shannon Sharp say it for himself, you know, because he can say it way better than me. And we're going to go back and see why this happened. You know, because in this video, we try trying to figure out you know, who out of order and who not. And I think they both is out of order. And I'm going to show you why a little bit later in the video. But before we get to all of that, like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But first, I want to take you to what actually started this. Not in the beginning. Now, I ain't going to take you to what Shaq said yet. But I want to let y'all hear to what Shannon Sharp had to reply to what Shaq said. Never going to see another guy Shaq side mm -hmm. with his athleticism yeah that was as dominant as him he should have five MVP he sees a guy like Nikola Jokic that's not as dominant as him and gets three and four years but see when you historically great they talk about you as great basketball player the GOAT mm -hmm. and Shaq is never brought up and I think a part of him is envious of that when we talk about the greatest basketball players of all time as far as the GOAT conversation Shaq's name is never brought up in that? Yeah. It's hard for me to put somebody in the GOAT conversation with one MVP, regular season. It's hard, Gil. So we're going to take somebody with one regular season MVP and put him in front of people that got three, that got four, that got five. If Shaq would have had, if he'd have had my work ethic, he'd have had 40,000 points. He might not ever admit this, but Shaq see these guys winning these MVPs and a little envious. Because, and, and I don't care, look, I understand that Shaq got four titles and he has three uh, uh, finals MVPs, but Shaq no deep down. We should be having a discussion. But go, Shaq, Shaq name is never brought up in the discussion. Now, we bring his name now, up with Shaq Big Man. Shaq doesn't seem to think that Shaq is in the greats category. And, you know, in those type of conversations, everybody got their own opinion. You know, it's been a lot of centers in the league and some people might not think Shaq is there. You know, because for the longest time, if you're old enough, you remember they were saying Shaq didn't really put in the work ethic. You feel me? Didn't really put it in. You know, they always struggle with his weight sometimes. He beat 345. You understand? But I think they really wanted him closer to like 300 so he can, you know, move around a little bit. But I think Shaq was one of the best. I seen him dominate some of the best. So in order to be the best, you got to beat the best. And I think Shaq have done that. Now, Shannon Sharp told you he's a great in his own sport he used to play for my Ravens so I'm very familiar with Shannon Sharp career even though he spent the bulk of it with the Broncos and that's why I wanted y'all to watch them clips in the beginning so y'all can see them guys if you're not old enough you haven't watched them in real time so you can actually see them in action both them guys was good at their sports 
But what created this whole uproar was the MVP conversation. Shaq feels as though that Shay Alexander Gilchrist should have won the MVP over Yoke. Of the Big Man Alliance, you are the vice president of the Big Man Alliance. Uh, you know I love you, the best player in the league. I want to congratulate you, but I want you to hear from me first. I thought the SGA should have been the MVP. That's no disrespect to you, but congratulations. And what do you guys have to do to get back on track versus Minnesota? Thank you, Shaq. We don't judge people here, you know, so that's fine. It's your opinion. I'm joking. <laughs> no, okay. I'm my brother. Friend. Hey, all good. I love you. I love your brothers. One thing we always going to do is keep it real with each other. Congratulations. I love no, you. No, for real, I think there is a lot of people. Now, before I get to why people. I think they both is wrong, I want y'all to hear what Shaq had to say, you know, because Shaq always been this type of Shaq ain't going to run for nothing. If you bring his name up and he feel the need to respond, he's going to respond. So this is what Shaq had to say about Shannon Sharp and his hate towards him. You took me sticking up for Shy, asking jealousy of Joker. I don't know what that means. Shows how smart you are and how you say anything to get clicks. So here's some clickbait for you. If you ain't ranked in the top 10 of your profession, then you can't speak on me. Don't forget, I know what you did to get where you at. Me jealous sounds like you jealous. I know you try and stay relevant by gossiping on your podcast. We don't believe you. you. Need more people. And in case you forgot, four rings, three finals MVPs, top 50, and top front, uh, and top 75. Google me. And be quite frank, all of this new success you got, you still under me. You don't know my work ethic, but according, I work less than you, but I'm worth more than you. Make it make sense. Love you too. If you need help making money, it's better ways than gossiping. I'm too old for this shit. Love always, the most dominant big man ever who never took it serious. Remember, I don't know you. In the words of Skip Bayless, I'm better than you. Hashtag G14 classification. I have it. You don't. Not in my profession. And your GOAT debate. Never wanted to be GOAT. I wanted to be who you should greet me as. The most dominant ever. Hashtag the Apex Predator. Now, I find it ironic that Shannon Sharp took this approach on Shaq because not too long ago, if y'all been following Shannon Sharp's career, y'all know that now he's on first take, but Shannon Sharp came from FS1. He was on there with Skip Bayless, Undisputed. Do y'all remember what happened on Undisputed? Let me brief y'all a little bit. It was a debate on Undisputed between Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless over Tom Brady. And Skip Bayless got real personal on Shannon Sharp, and Shannon Sharp ain't like it. Check it out. You, you have no objectivity. It's just straight real hate. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is just straight hate by a guy who's jealous that he's still playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. Yeah, that's what you That's do. the point. That's, I mean, the NFL Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better than you. Better. Yeah, what? I got to see what you do. You take personal shots. No, I don't, I don't take personal oh, shots. Seven, 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 now, seven, I told y'all I think both of them is wrong. And I'm going to get to the reason why I think Shaq was wrong. But what Shannon Sharp just did to Shaq was kind of similar to what Skip did to Shannon. He made it personal. He attacked his work ethic. And I ain't going to lie, I'm going to keep it real. I remember people did question Shaq's work ethic. But when you were in the business, and at the end of the day, y'all are some type of counterparts because y'all are all in media. Y'all basically sharing the same space to some level or degree. You know, Shaq speak on basketball. Shannon Sharp speak on everything but Y'all counterparts and supposed to be something called journalistic integrity. You ain't really supposed to bash people that's in the same field of you. Unless it's personal. And I think that's why Shaq took it personally because that was a personal attack. Like he could have said everything he said without mentioning that Shaq may have felt some type of way or questioned his cred uh, credentials in his career and his credibility. He ain't had to go all into that. He questioned the man work ethic, man. That is very disrespectful, yo, in any field to question somebody's work ethic. Now, the reason I think Shaq is wrong, because not too long ago, y'all, we had the National Championship NCAA Women's Finals. Do y'all remember that? And in the Women's Finals, it was a conversation between Gail and Don Staley. Now, Don Staley team won, and uh, I think a lot of people in America, not me, you know, because I'm going to rock with the, you know, but I think a lot of people wanted Caitlyn 
Clark to win this championship. And Gail had an interview with Don Staley, and this is what she said. I'm so happy. The game was such a good game. It was so close at times. And in the end, you guys pulled it out. But was there ever a point during the game when you were worried? Because I got worried. We, we were all cheering for Iowa, of course, and Caitlin Clark. But for so many people, you've got their hearts. Was there ever a point where you were worried during the game? I, I wasn't ever worried during the game. I know you know, when we went down. Now, Gail you know, put a lot of backlash for that conversation that she had with Don Staley. And the reason why, you know, the backlash was centered around the fact that Gail took Don Staley's moment. This is her moment to, you know, to, you know, to show off a little bit, you know, to congratulate her. And she stole it from her by saying most of the world wanted to see Clayton Clark win. And I don't remember that. I know some. it was a segment of society that wanted to see her win, and Clayton Clark is a great basketball player on any level. I, ain't, I mean, we ain't, I don't think a blind man would not be able to see that. But in this moment, when Don Staley's team obviously was the better team, obviously out-coached Caitlin Clark's uh, coach and won the championship, how are you going to steal our moment? And that's basically what Shaq did to Jokic. Now, I understand that Shaq might, he might do feel some type of way. Jokic got three MVPs. And Gilchrist Alexander did his thing this year. I think he averaged like 30-something points. So you really want to see them wars get spreaded around. And sometimes people think it got some racial undertones to it. But at the end of the day, you can't steal this moment, Shaq. Even if you felt that way, you know, you could have had that conversation personally. You didn't have to have it on air. And you can tell how Jokic responded. He was a little bit taken back by it, even though he played it off to the best that he could. But he was a little bit taken back by it because it's like, damn, yo, like, I want MVP. Okay, you want a shade of win? That's cool, but he didn't win. So that's the reason I think both these guys was wrong because both these people have spoken on these type of situations or been in a situation where their integrity has been questioned or, I mean, and they know how it feel. So Shannon Sharp was dead wrong for questioning uh, Shaq on his uh, work ethic and how he feel about the, the, the awards being handed out. And Shaq was dead wrong for doing what he did to Jokic. So I understand both parties. But I don't know how y'all feel about this, man. Who was wrong, man? Do y'all understand what I mean by... I think both of these guys was wrong. I don't think in no type of... I question people in type of, <laughs> That's what we do on Keep It G News. But when you reach that level, the level that they at, yo, you got to do it a little bit different, y'all, by opinion. Well, maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments, man. It's another day at Keep It G News. Nigga can't do what I do. Y'all niggas can't copy me. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep the shit G. Let's keep 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 shit G